Next, let's talk about traits. Traits are a relatively new feature that came in in PHP 5.4. So again, fairly new to PHP, but they're a really nice addition. The simplest way to understand traits is that they are compiler-assisted copy-paste. So they are the idea that you can declare a trait, which is like a snippet of a class, and then apply it anywhere that you need it. Without traits, in order to share functionality in PHP, we can end up with what I call a false parent. So you put this common functionality into a parent class. The classes that descend from it are not really similar, and sometimes every object in your system can end up having a common ancestor in order to put that shared functionality somewhere where it can be reused. Traits really improves on that situation by allowing you to build part of a class and then just apply it wherever you want. Um, there are some, I'm starting to see some examples of traits in the wild where people are using them. Monologue has a few, uh, some of the Symphony projects have them too, Zen Framework 2 has one. And they are functionality which then can be applied. A trait can contain properties, methods, traits can rely on other traits, and then you just bring into your class whatever you need. I have a really simple example for you. I'm declaring a trait. It's called audit. Now, a trait looks completely like a class. In the way that it's uh, syntactically declared, it, it's class-like. We use the trait keyword to indicate that it's not a complete class, but it's part of a class where the property, properties, methods can all be used elsewhere. Then I've declared a princess class kind of omitted the usual princess stuff but the important thing here is that I've put use audit so that brings the audit trait and literally copies and pastes the content of that audit trait into my princess class that happens at compile time so we don't need to we don't need to worry about it we just say the audit stuff goes here when we declare the class when we come to use it that stuff will be present it will get unpacked as PHP works through trying to understand our class, it'll import that trait and use all of the contents of the trait in our princess class. Once we've done that, we kind of don't care that this functionality comes from traits. You can see here that I'm just instantiating the princess class in the usual way, mine is called Daisy, and then I'm able to call that get audit trail from the audit trait. So the method was declared in the trait, the use keyword brings it into my class. Once I instantiate the object from that class, then that method is available to me to use. Traits are very useful. I think the audit trail is quite a nice example of something where we might want to add this capability to multiple unrelated objects in the system. Um, the Zen Framework 2 example is to do with registering things with the um, event managers. So you can use their, it's boilerplate code, right? It looks the same every single time you add that to an object. And you can just declare it by hand in your classes. If you're on 5.3, you'll have to. Zen Framework 2 is a minimum version 5.3. However, with the trait, you can just bring it in with the use keyword. PHP will auto-load traits exactly as it does interfaces and classes. They're usually namespaced. And we can then make truly modular functionality that is only applied where we need it. So we can start to see how objects can really allow us to make well composed and nicely formed elements that become part of our application as a whole.